Hello, in today's episode, we are going to look at the reduction formula. This help us to solve integration questions so easily. And we obtain this formula from the integration by parts. For example, if we are to integrate integral x to the power n e x dx, we can use the integration by parts and a more simpler with the reduction formula. So now let this be equal to a certain i n. Anytime I have this expression, I will equate it to i n. Using the formula for integration by parts, I can obtain this from it. Let my u be equal to what? xn. And from this part, I can say du dx is equal to nx n minus 1. Are we okay? Therefore, my du is x, this n, multiplying n. So n minus 1 dx. We have that. From this, I can say my dv is equal to ex. Therefore, integral, integral, my v is still ex. And with the integration by part, I can say in is equal to. We know that the integration by part is uv minus integral v du. So my u, which is xn by v ex minus integral v, which is ex, and this is du, n x n minus 1 ex. To write it properly, my i n is going to be xn ex minus this n will come out integral x n minus 1 e x e x. Are we okay? And this is what we call the reduction formula. Reduction formula. Looking at this, anytime I integrate, I'm going to get a similar part to the question. Can you check it for me? This is x to the power n e x. This is the same thing here, just that we are going to have the power of the n reduced by 1. Are we okay? So this is similar to i n, just that it is minus 1. So the entire reduction formula can be reduced to final i n is equal to x n e x minus n. So this whole part represents i n minus 1 as the formula. Are we good? So I can take the i n minus 1, then also reduce or deduce another formula for that. So bear it in mind that this reduction formula is obtained from the integration by parts approach. So let's look at a situation where we are to integrate or the integral of the form integral xn e e x dx. How do we solve questions of such type? If our integration is in the form integral s n e a x dx, how do we use the integration or the reduction formula for that? So first we have to get the simplified reduction formula for this type of question. Are you okay? Looking at this, it is to the power x. This is the reduction formula. If it is to the power ax, how do we get the reduction formula? Here too, we can let our u be equal to xn. The same, our du will be equal to, after making the u the subject from this, you are still going to get n x n minus 1 dx. Are we good? From this part, my dv is going to be e a x. Therefore, integral of both sides will give me a v equal to 1 on a e a x as that. 
So obeying the integration by parts formula, then my reduction formula is going to be I n from the initial point where n represent the power of the x. Pay attention. N represent the power of the x. So from the highest power of the x, I will get my u, which is u v, and I can write write one on a x n e a x for that minus integral obeying the formula i will still get one on a n x n minus one e e x e x i can simplify it to one on a x n E A X minus one on A N integral. I will get X N minus one E A X E X. So you can see that finally this part is looking at is looking the same as the original form, but with a power reduced by one. Therefore, I can say my reduction formula for integration in this type is i n 1 on a x n e a x minus 1 on a n i n minus 1 as the formula so particularly when you are given the problem you find your a where a will be this power you find your n the power of the x then you simplify it to get Trust me, the reduction formula is very simple as compared to the other type. So just have the formula. Once you are given the question, you don't need to prove all this. You just write the final formula for the type of integration you are going to do. So if it is of this type, x, n, e, x, this is it. You can see the formula is similar. Just that with this one, there's a. And since it is integration, you are going to divide it by the a. So let's try our hands on some examples that will give us a fair idea on the reduction formula. Are we good? So use the reduction formula. If we are to use the reduction formula, we are restricted to determine Integral s q e two x e x. You know that with this you can use the integration by parts, but trust me, it will be very plenty. We are going to solve enough to get the answer. But with the reduction formula, you can just do it straight forward. So our solution. What do we know? We know that integration of this type x q e two x dx is the same as this type integral x n e a x dx. Are we good? Already we know the final formula for this type of what integration. We know that our i n is equal to one on a have a good x n e a x minus one on a n i n minus one we have it written this is the reduction formula so within the formula and the question given can we say our n our first n is starting from the highest power of the cube or the highest power of the x, which is the n, comparing it to the equation here. So my n is 3. What about a? That is 2, right? a is 2. So I can just input the values into the formula and straight away I will move. So my reduction formula, I, now my n is what? 3. Is going to be 1 on a, which is a is 2, x to the power n, n is cubed, 
e a 2x minus 1 on a 2 you see how simple it is then my n is also what multiplying 3 i n minus 1 now n is 3 minus 1 i 2 are we good so this is my second equation you can simplify this are we good so this is for n equal to 3 so now since you have i2 here you have to do for n equal to 2 and if n is equal to 2 our a is still the same which is true so for i2 that is going to be you are still going to be the formula 1 on a which is 2 s with the power n now our n is 2 e 2x minus 1 on a so my a is 2 multiplying n 2i n minus 1 so 2 minus 1 that is i1 as the third formula you still go again when n is equal to what one our a is still two from here so this is one one so i1 is going to be still obey the formula one on two x raised to the power what one n and that is going to be e 2x minus 1 on 2 multiplying n which is 1 i 1 minus 1 that will be i 0 so this is the fourth formula you will do it until you get to the i 0 so if i'm to continue when n is equal to what 0 what do we have now n is equal to 0 our a is still what? 2 so i0 is going to give us 1 on a 2x raised to the power 0 and that is e 2x minus 1 on a which is 2 and n is 0 multiplying i that will be 0 minus 1 so negative 1 look at this this 0 will move everything here to what 0 x raised to the power 0 that is 1 meaning i at 0 is going to give me half e 2x and this is the fifth one so we are done with the reduction formula what we are to do now is to come to the i3 the final answer will lie at the i3 put the entire expression of i2 back here Put the entire expression of i1 back here and put the entire expression of i0 back here and you'll get our final answer are we good that's quite interesting so first from equation 2 let me go and put in the values of i2 in terms of i1 and i'll bring in the values of i1 also and bring in the values of i0 then that will be the solution for this integral. So this is going to give me i3 equal to. I'm going to bring the value straight forward. First, we know that i3 was half s cube e2x minus 1 on 2 multiplying 3i2. So I3 now is going to be 1 on 2 S cube E2x minus half multiplying 3. Now the expression for I2, the expression for I2 was half x square E2x minus 1 on 2 multiplying 2 I1. Are we okay? Can I simplify this to get something? Yes, so my i3 is going to be 1 on 2 s cube 
e to x. Then from here, this and that, I'm going to get a negative 3 on 4 x square e to x. Then I'm going to get with the i2, I can still get minus 3 that's positive on 2 multiplying 2i1. So this is the, although these two can cancel out, yes. So this is the expression I am getting right now. This 2 by this 2, that's going to be 3 on 4. 3 on 4 here. So we can also bring back the expression of i1 into the equation again. So we eliminate all the i's. So i3 now is going to be 1 on 2 s cube e2x minus 3 on 4 x square e2x. Then we have plus. Here I can cancel out the 2. Give me 3 on 2. Is that okay? 3 on 2 into bracket. The expression for i1 is giving us 1 on 2 s1 e2x minus 1 on 2i naught. Is that true? Yes. So this was the expression for the i1. And we can simplify this again. So i3 now again is going to give half s cube e2x minus 3 on 4 s square e2x you multiply through plus 3 on 4 x e2x minus 3 on 4 i naught finally we bring back the values of i naught so my i3 now is going to be half s cube e2x minus 3 on 4 x square e2x plus 3 on 4 x e2x minus 3 on 4 the value of i naught was half e2x is that true yes so let's simplify this and our answer for i3 is going to be half s cube e2x minus 3 on 4 x square e2x plus 3 on 4 x e2x then when we multiply through this we are going to get minus 3 on 8 e2x and since it is integration we can bring plus our constant c and this will be the final answer for the integral x cubed e2x dx using the reduction formula you can still simplify this and get the simplified form so i can bring one and eight out from this and this will be four x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x minus 3 or multiplied by e2x plus c. This can also be the simplified version of the answer. It's quite interesting. When you look at the answer, you see a trend. As the x is going, it will be decreasing from the cube to the square to the power 1 and it is to the power 0. That's 1. And you will see the trend. So this is how you use the reduction formula to obtain your integral of the form that. Thank you for watching this episode. We are going to bring you other interesting episodes and more try work. Try work. Stay tuned.